China places country dangerously close to U.S. warship. The U.S. military has released video footage of a Chinese Navy ship cutting across the path of an American destroyer in the Taiwan Strait over the weekend, reportedly forcing the U.S. vessel to slow down to avoid a collision. A statement on the incident from U.S. Indo-Pacific Command says the Chinese ship executed maneuvers in an unsafe manner in the presence of U.S. and Canadian warships during a routine south-to-north Taiwan Strait transit by the naval forces of those nations, coming as close as 150 yards from the American vessel. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is a Chinese Navy vessel doing in the Taiwan Strait, right where U.S. and Canadian warships are peacefully conducting routine navigation exercises? Well, I don't know if this news will be as shocking to you as it is to me, but it turns out that China has somehow managed to place its country immediately adjacent to the Taiwan Strait, and is now only a hundred miles from Taiwan itself. This narrow channel of water was the only space the U.S. and Canadian navies were given to travel through, placing them dangerously close to Chinese warships and to the country of China. China has yet to issue a formal apology for menacing the U.S. Navy with the unsafe maneuverings of both its battleship and its geographical location. Noting in its statement that it was acting in accordance with international law at the time of the incident, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command says that its transit demonstrates the combined U.S.-Canadian commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific, adding that the U.S. military flies, sails, and operates safely and responsibly anywhere international law allows. Which is, of course, true. These are international waters, after all, and the Chinese Navy should therefore stay out of the way of U.S. military vessels traveling through them, just as the U.S. Navy would stay out of the way of Chinese military forces traveling a few miles off the coast of California, or transiting between the islands of Hawaii. The U.S. is only asking for the same freedom of navigation it would afford anyone else. We saw another incident of China's aggressive and dangerous terrestrial placement on the 26th of May, when a U.S. spy plane was buzzed by a Chinese fighter jet during peaceful surveillance operations over the South China Sea. A statement by U.S. Indo-Pacific Command called the incident an unnecessarily aggressive maneuver, which interrupted the safe and routine operations of the spy plane. What the hell is going on here? What is a Chinese fighter jet doing all the way over in the South China Sea? Obviously, Chinese fighter jets have no business operating in that region, especially when their movements endanger the U.S. spy planes who are flying their peaceful missions there. But as with the Taiwan Strait, the imperialist aggressions of the Chinese Communist Party have been so expansionist in nature that the South China Sea now sits immediately adjacent to mainland China. Here's hoping that China stops with its brazen aggressions against the U.S. military forces who are minding their own business in the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea, stops endangering poor defenseless warships and spy planes by moving through waters and airspace they have no business entering in the first place, and starts respecting the rules-based global sovereignty of the United States of America. <laughs>